In this video, I'll be showing you how to order the correct capacitor for your air conditioner. This is a question that frequently comes up in my videos where I show how to replace the capacitor, so I thought it's about time that I address it. What you need to know is that the capacitor is simply like a battery for the air conditioner, which means that the brand of it does not matter. For example, if you're replacing AA batteries and the batteries that you have in there are Energizer, you don't have to replace it with Energizer batteries only. You can put in Duracell or Panasonic or whatever other brand as long as the size lines up. The air conditioner capacitor is the same way. There's a bunch of numbers on it, but the only thing that really matters is the size of the capacitor. They're measured in microfarads, which is usually labeled as MFD or a backwards U and an F. Let's take a look at this air conditioner as an example. If I loosen the strap that's holding our capacitor, I should be able to slide it out just a little bit. So the brand is Bojack. That's just some off brand. But like I said previously, the brand does not matter. The label on the capacitor contains a bunch of information, including a few part numbers right here. These do not matter. And this is what usually throws people off. They think that this big bold number right here with letters, the part number of the capacitor, they think that they need to get the same capacitor as this one right here. And that is not true. All you really need to do is look for the UF rating for the microfarad rating, which is 40 by five. And that's all you need to know. The brand doesn't matter. All these other numbers don't matter. You just simply need to get the 40 by five microfarad capacitor. Even the voltage doesn't really matter. 440 or 450 is optimal, but if you get a 370, that's totally fine. And almost all capacitors for sale nowadays are usually gonna be 370 or 440 volts anyway. So if I were to come out to this house to repair the air conditioner and I need to replace this capacitor, I would take this out and literally the only thing I would look at is just this microfarad rating and that's it. Once I know that it's a 40 by five, I just go to my van and I grab the first capacitor that I see, doesn't matter what brand it is, as long as the size is 40 by five and I put it in and it works every time. Now, if your capacitor label is completely gone or your capacitor is fully rusted out, then you simply have to just guess what size capacitor goes in there. And I have a whole video about that. If that's your situation, check that video out. And if you need help replacing the capacitor, how to do it, which wires go where, and all the other information that you need, I have a whole video dedicated to that where I take you from A to Z, how to completely replace the capacitor on an air conditioner. Another question that I often get is about the physical size of the capacitor. So if you're replacing a big 40 by five capacitor with a small 40 by five capacitor, that's okay. The physical size does not matter as long as the microfarad rating or the microfarad size lines up. And that actually happens quite a bit. The new capacitor will be of a different physical size than the old one that's in your unit. Another question that I sometimes get is if it's okay to put a different size capacitor into the air conditioner. If you go to the store and you need a 50 by five microfarad capacitor, but they only have 45 or 55, the 50 just so happens to be out of stock, it is okay to put in a different size as long as it's pretty close to whatever you were looking for. Optimally, you don't wanna leave that in there though. Maybe for a couple of weeks just to get you by is fine, but I wouldn't leave that in there permanently. If you can, I would replace that capacitor with the proper size. And that's all I had for you today. If you still have some capacitor questions left unanswered, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here, did you hear about the guy that stole batteries? He was charged on the spot. I also just thought about my neighbors as well. They listen to great music all day long, whether they like it or not.